Vice President and Chief Operating Officer of the Orange County Community Foundation, but also the founder of the African American Alliance Fund, which focuses on, since Juneteenth of 2020, we have had an interest in supporting the black community in a very authentic way. And that means by raising awareness about African American issues, but also African American accomplishments. And we're doing that through the support that we're giving to today's strange group opening green uh, red carpet ceremony. And the reason we're doing this is because it's important that we in Orange County support our community in a way that we've never done before. And that's by really honing in on social justice issues. Like today we do need to raise awareness about what happened during slavery and how we can all work together to get as a community to figure things out. And we only do this through the generosity of our many, many donors. And today we have with us Aaron Samueli with the Samueli Foundation, who can give you a little bit more information on why they support the community and why they support social justice. How can um, someone take this message of oneness and being together in unity and bring it back to themselves after watching this film? What a great question. Um, to me, being someone who is a supporter of local nonprofits, that is my job. I think the the main part of my job is finding community and building it up to what it can and should be in ways that Orange County historically hasn't been a welcoming home for. And because I work specifically on social justice issues, I really think these pieces of art that really showcase the struggles that black people have been going through since the 1600s in this country to today that look different but come from that place. It's a part of Orange County history in a way that every other thing is a part of Orange County history and I don't think a lot of people think about it that way. And so being able to come together around art is a way to find common ground and a way to feel like we are together and not separate and that we can rally around something really important. And so I'm really honored to be here and demonstrate that black excellence is in Orange County and it's at the Frida Cinema in Santa Ana and it is not going anywhere and nor should it. Are the founder of the OC Justice Initiative here in the OC. That's right. Um, this film is super huge on racial reconciliation. What does this mean for you in your leadership? Definitely. Um, so the OC Justice Initiative is the first ever um, youth-empowered BIPOC political think tank in Orange County. I'm gonna let that sink in. Orange County is predominantly white. Black people make up. Uh, 2.1% to be exact of the Orange County population and when you think about that it gives you some type of poise right like wow 2.1% but it took me and other comrades in 2020 to actually say we're not going to let this continue to happen and that's why we started the OC Justice Initiative and that's why it was needed, specifically here in Orange County. Because we have, we see so many other groups in LA doing the work for black liberation. We see so many groups in LA doing the work for Latin, uh, Latinx or uh, Latino uh, uh, liberation. We see AAPI groups doing the work in LA. But we don't see no groups in Orange County doing that work. And in 2020, we created the group to educate, demonstrate, and hopefully legislate, hopefully inspire you to actually run for office. Um, Jonathan Hernandez is another individual who's a panelist today. He was one of the individuals that actually ran for office um, from starting our organization, and we're really proud to be you know, still with him. Um, but to answer your question, it means a lot, right? <laughs> um, considering that you know Orange County is a quagmire in the midst of so much racial progression that we've seen in 2020. But there's still a lot of work to be done in Orange County. Um, and this movie, this musical, this encapsulation of what we have today is just a spark in what needs to continue to happen in Orange County. There needs to be more conversations, there needs to be more musicals, there needs to be more BIPOC, I mentioned that, Black, Indigenous, People of Color, Unity events, right? 
So it can encourage other BIPOC youth from other nations to say, oh, well, if they're doing that in Orange County, then why aren't we doing it in here? Why am I just thinking about black issues? Well, let me think about, oh, let me think about AAPI issues. Oh, let me think about, guess what? It's all interconnected because we're battling white supremacy, right? So why don't we all come together and start an initiative, start a coalition, start an event like this? And that's a big deal that we're doing it today. Racial reconciliation is not gonna just take one day, right? It's gonna can take a repetitious process of hosting an event like this, of reaching across the aisle and speaking with somebody who you may not even want to speak about racial reconciliation. Racial reconciliation, unity, bringing people together is of utmost importance to me as it is to Deborah Jane. And so that's what we're working together with Strange Fruit. It's going to be beautiful bringing people together. White, black, brown, all of us together loving one another. That's really important to me. Wow, it was a growing experience and a learning experience. Um, first time ever in Atlanta, and it was such a privilege for me to be, you know, part of it. And um, I reached out to Deborah, believed in her missions immediately, believed in the script and the story immediately. And so I was just, it was crazy to see it all come together and almost pull off an impossible mission. You know, shoot this whole scene in one day out in an actual cotton field in Atlanta and really get the crew together. We found like a perfect team and it all just melded together somehow, some way. So I'm just really proud of it and happy to be here. And can you remember any memorable moments from shooting? Yeah, um, wow. Um, it's so hard to pick one because it's like a whole body of work in itself. But there was this one <laughs> shot that the director, MJ, really wanted. It was like a dolly zoom so shot. And um, it took like 10 takes, but like on the 10th take, we finally pulled it off somehow with like the, the focus controller little uh, gadget and like everyone went crazy and like they're like oh my god you have to look at the monitor you have to look at the monitor so that, that was pretty neat. Making it come to life um, and you're the choreographer as well as the director how does it feel <laughs> seeing everyone to come and be a part of this today? Yo um it's it's beautiful it's, it's love it's purpose it's mission it makes it makes my craziness make sense. Yeah, so it's um it's a lot to take in, but um, I, I'm excited and I feel blessed. You spoke of a few of the different emotions that you felt um, in one of the pivotal scenes um, in the cotton field. Can you tell us a little bit more about that, the, the energy that you felt and maybe how you think you can transcend that energy mm -hmm. as well? So definitely um, going in there, it was very eerie yet beautiful at the same time which was a little um the contrast was different but when i say um after we did it a few times and when you watch the film you'll like hear it and there's like a that comes up literally it was like i i feel it like it was yesterday you understand i remember it like it was yesterday you can feel it's like it's almost like an awakening of our ancestors like but as if you are we're doing their work i could feel god i could feel our ancestors when i say it was like okay it's go time let's do this yeah so it it was awesome and beautiful and emotional all at the same time but to god be all the glory what's something that you would like for people to take away with them after being a part of this, viewing this film? Um, to fight, to keep fighting, and to keep going, no matter what the obstacles, no matter what the adversity that comes, but to just keep fighting, keep going, keep pushing, keep pressing, because God will allow you, us, to persevere. Wow, a great question. Truly, yes. Uh, and when I say yes, I'm not even using the music because when you've seen it as a baby and then actually see where it's at right now and then experiencing the emotional roller coaster going the ups and downs, the peaks, the highs, the lows, then you, you can appreciate when you see so many people come out to uh, not only to celebrate her but to actually see her work in action that used to be something that was on paper 
And now you actually get an opportunity to really see actors, uh, politicians, folks, just really. So now that it's hitting ground, I'm just really looking forward to see what the next chapter is. So, you know, I am, I'm on the board, but my biggest role would be the spiritual advisor. So being on set down in Atlanta has gave me the opportunity uh, to just really make sure that when they got into character, we can literally bring them back. Because the thing was, when you're talking about uh, slavery, that comes to a point where, hey, you can lose yourself. Because even, I wasn't even in the scenes and there was times where I, I literally had to come back. So what does being part of this film mean? Um, I was blessed to come on as production manager and one of the producers for this film. Um, it was a journey. It was incredible, production managing, having to put together the budget, the schedule, we flew people out. We flew at least, I think about, like seven to ten people we flew out there and the rest of the crew we hired out in Atlanta. So we pretty much, we went to the cotton field and we had to build a, a production set from scratch. So if you're into production, you know that we had to figure out table chairs, base camp, everything. And we had like maybe two months to do it. Um, so Deborah number one is just an incredible leader, incredible visionary, incredible person. Um, and she trusts me. So that's the number one thing between us is that she trusts me with her vision, um, logistically. So all the moving parts, the flights, the equipment, crews, everything. Um, it was incredible to see it all come to life. And we're here now. So um, I'm just, I'm just elated. What message do you hope that you guys are able to convey? That we're all one, one heart, one mission, one blood. Um, especially with Christ, uh, we are one. So this panel, everything we're doing is about racial reconciliation. So it's, that's exactly what we are, just one family. So I think that that's what this event stands for, bringing all cultures together for the greater good, which is Christ. I mean, using this as a conduit to do that. Oh my goodness. Um, such a passionate subject for me. Have always been very intrigued about Strange Fruit, but it wasn't until I interviewed Deborah Jane on a podcast video that I have that I just really started to dive in and do research. And I remember it just hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, this is what my ancestors went through. So I'm just, I'm so excited to be a part. I'm honored to be a part. And I just pray that this message gets out so that the racial reconciliation that really needs to happen in our nation really happens. It's time. For one, we have to be advocates because it's great what's happening in here, but then once we leave this place, we all need to go out and we need to share the message of, of uh, racial reconciliation. So I hope that everyone that's here um, not just is stirred up and understands the importance of this, but to say, okay, what can I do? How can I impact my community, my sphere of influence, my workplace, my neighborhood? I think when we go out and we carry this message wherever we go, we really can see change and, and have the really uh, the conversations that are needed to be had. And we're going to do a really good job in there, I think, of, of starting and initiating those conversations. First thought when you heard she was making this film? I was supremely excited about it because I know it was something that she had in her heart from since a little girl and she wanted to do it. She, she made a start when she was in college, but I'm glad she's reached this point now. So we were really excited to be a part of it and be supporting her through this endeavor. And what are some of those values that you guys would say that you implemented within your daughter that you think has inspired her to make this film? Work hard, study hard, be productive. Yeah. 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 How does this feel knowing and just supporting your sister and her vision? You know, it feels really good. It feels... Deborah has been working on Strange Fruit for a long, long time, many, many years. I used to work on it with her, so I know all the iterations, all the writing, all the work she does. So it's, it's just beautiful to see her dream come to fruition and she gets to show all her friends and family and all her supporters what a great artist she is, so I'm very proud of her. What do you think um, has your family's values brought to her vision of making this film? Our, I mean, one of our family values is family togetherness, is supporting each other, and a lot of a lot of people in our family are very creative, very artistic, and so we just definitely foster that. We like play around, kind of 
go past life. You know, we're very artistic family, so it's very good to see some, you know, some of that craziness kind of shine. <laughs> and, you know, and, and also uh, bringing back the history. We come from a different country, we come from Guyana, which is, um, you know, it's not the same history as America, but there's a lot of similarities here. So it is very important for us to take a look at our history and learn from it and grow and become better people for the future. Well, the Caribbean heritage is very impactful and important um, within our African American heritage as well too. So, what also do you think that um, people like you can take back to their communities, to their lives, um, knowing that this film is so big on racial reconciliation? This has uh, something for everybody. This has something for everybody. It's, it's, we all need to heal. This is a time of a lot of strife because we have the internet. We see everybody's drama. And a lot of us take everything very personally. And it's a time to see what people did wrong and, and heal from it. Say, if, you know, when people apologize, when people recognize what, what they did or what their ancestors did wasn't the greatest thing, we can all just Okay, that happened, but let's move forward together. And we're all still here together. So let's work it out. Like, it's a call to work things out. So, producing Hear the Cry, our scene from Strange Fruit, was nothing short of walking on water. That's the best way I can say it. It, it, it was a complete faith look. I had zero dollars to begin with. And uh, through prayer, through faith, through hard work, through people just coming together. God brought us all the resources that we needed to shoot that. And we shot in an actual cotton field in Athens, Georgia, dancing in a cotton field. As Zainisha said, scary, creepy. We, we felt the ancestors, it was mystic. Um, we felt like we were honoring our ancestors and telling this story. But to get there was a process of writing it. You know, I put my heart into it. I've been writing it for many years. Um, I listen to the spirit when I write. So. Writing it was a deeply personal process. Producing it was all about organization and management. <laughs> Funding it was about faith. <laughs> God is my bank. Uh, and um, just all the things that get thrown at me. And I want to say this. Whenever you do something that is from God, you're going to face opposition. We face opposition from Jump Street. Um, to do this production, we face opposition. And that's because we're operating in the spirit. And when you're operating in the spirit, you're bringing something to life that's never been done before and could be threatening to people who don't want this message to come out. So we face a lot of challenges, a lot of obstacles, but we stuck together as a team, we unified, and basically we had to be like Harriet Tubman, chasing the North Star. We stood up and we did it. Thank you for one for transcending Yes, well, in many ways. First, this premiere is not just the premiere of Strange Fruit, it's the launch and kickoff officially of my company, House of Deborah Jane, launching in Orange County. We want to continue aligning people by creating a place, a house, for them to be, for them to create, for them to produce. It's been told to me uh, that I'm, I might be like a Tyler Perry, and that resonates with my spirit, because Tyler Perry created a whole studio in Atlanta that didn't exist before. He brought Hollywood to Atlanta. I believe that I can bring Hollywood to Orange County. So that's one way that we want to continue the message by actually building and creating the studio. We want everybody to be a part of that. Um, on a spiritual level, I do whatever God tells me to do, basically. And so uh, one of the things that's on my spirit is to do a tour. We'd like to take this um, the show and tour it, maybe do a college tour, go from place to place, get strange food out there, uh, things like that. So we're looking at multiple different ways and multiple different platforms to get this story out there. And then of course the biggest goal is to make the feature film. We want to get the scene out on Instagram, out on YouTube, out on social media. We want to push it, we want it to go viral. Everybody, we want everybody checking it out. Follow us at strange food underscore hip hopper, at strange food underscore hip hopper. Follow us, like us, share us, share our material. We're trying to get it out and we want it to go viral. All those ways are ways in which we keep the story going and keep the spirit going and eventually reach our goal, which is making a feature film that is in theaters worldwide called Strange Food the Hip Hopper.